Alright, we're making another video for Android here. Um, you can see I have the Android Marketplace uh, loaded up here. I showed how to kind of navigate through the Marketplace in my last video. The app I want to talk about for this video is called Quick Tools, or Quick Profiles, I'm sorry. It is under the Tools uh, category of the Android Market. And what this allows you to do is set up kind of profiles for your phone for the sound, for screen brightness. Um, coming from the BlackBerry world, I used to own a BlackBerry Bold. I liked being able to go to the home screen and just go into the notifications area and just change the phone's profiles. Um, out of the box, BlackBerry doesn't have anything, I mean, I'm sorry, Android doesn't have anything like that. You can use the volume button on the side to go to silent or vibrate mode. Um, that's pretty much the extent of it. So I already have it installed here and I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up. So these are the profiles that I've created. Um, all off turns everything off. You know, car it turns off the text messages, notifications. Uh, Mimi's time is for when I go to sleep. That just turns the phone on and that's only for when I have emergency, like if someone has to call me overnight for some reason, I just want the phone on, but I don't want to hear my emails or text messages coming in, quiet, you know, different ones. So just to show you how to create one, I'm going to hit menu, our contextual menu button, and then we're going to hit the add profile. And you can see we have all these options now, so... Let's just call this, give this a name, we'll call it test. Hit OK. Uh, icon, the free version doesn't allow, to you, allow you to use icons. There is a paid version. Um, click on that, it says you need Quick, Quick Profiles Pro installed. Would you like to install it now? Let's say no. Um, but again, if you would like that option that is available in the marketplace, Android Market. Um, so here we could say ringer mode, no change, no in this mode I want it to only ring. Uh, I want the volume to be, uh, let's say 100%. Media volume is when you open up your music or you open up a video, how loud do you want that to be? Uh, we want to blow these speakers up, so let's put it at 100. Notification volume, this is your text messages, your emails. Um, so again, I'll just set that at 100. Alarm volume, uh, if you have any alarms set up on your phone, this will control that volume. You can actually change the volume of your voice calls. So I'm just going to go ahead and say no change. You can actually change your ringtone if you select this little checkbox. It'll enable this submenu here that says ringtone. So if I click on that, it gives you an option of a bunch of ringtones that are on the phone. Um, I'll just cancel. I want to keep the same ringtone. I have a really awesome Tron ringtone on here that I don't want to change. Again, notification sounds. If you check that, it will give you the option to change the sounds of your notifications. Some more options here. Airplane mode. What airplane mode does is it turns all the radios on your phone off. It turns off Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the data connection, the cell phone connection for, you guessed it, when you're going to get on an airplane. Um, so you can have it turn on in this mode. You can have it so that it's off no matter what. Or you can toggle it if you want to have that option. Uh, if you want to do airplane mode, I haven't covered this yet, but if you hold on the lock slash power button you get this menu here you can power off you know change the ringer um, and airplane mode is one of those options so just an FYI so I'll hit that back button again Wi-Fi Bluetooth change the time out of the screen the screen brightness you can even change the wallpaper um, unfortunately if you do that it enables this menu down here it will not let you pick live wallpapers, which is kind of a bummer, but still pretty cool option. Um, and when you're done, 
just hit the back button, the back arrow, and we scroll down, and there is our profile. So if I select that, and you can see it says profile test activated. So very handy app, a little bit of automation for you in just a simple button press. And um, one last thing you can do to keep it up here in your notifications tray, let me go back into it. Um, hit menu, if I go to preferences, uh, notification mode, I have it set to toast, which is, it'll give you that little gray message box. Um, but uh, right here, status bar shortcut. Currently it says don't show status bar shortcut because I'm using another program to keep it up in my status bar. But for the time being, if you want to have it up there, I would say turn that on and it'll be up there available for you so you can just quickly go in and out of that. Um, so again, very, very useful app, very handy. I highly recommend it personally, especially for those that made the transition from the BlackBerry world or just another phone operating system that has the, the convenience of that. So that's it for quick profiles. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And suggestions, questions, or comments, just go ahead and put them in the comments section. Thanks a lot.